Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So, get me some IHOP. Waiting for my IHOP. And then I gotta go home. My maids are coming. I haven't had them come in probably five months. I don't know. But I just wanted to drop this video. Because somebody needs to hear this. Being broke is not normal. Being broke is not normal. Being broke is not normal. Okay. Every year, your story needs to change. Every year, you need to have a new story. Every year, your story shouldn't be, I'm broke, I'm struggling, I'm broke, I'm struggling, I'm broke, I'm struggling, I'm broke, I'm struggling. You're supposed to learn new things. <clears throat> You're supposed to grow <clears throat> as a woman or a man. You're supposed to feel better about yourself every year. And you're supposed to strive for bigger and better every year. You shouldn't be declining every year. You shouldn't be downsizing every year. You shouldn't be trying to figure out which bill I need to cut now in order to downsize every single year. So that means you're dying every single year. So if you broke and struggling every single year, that means you are dying every single year. I don't know if you heard this saying before, but most people die at 25, 35, 45, but don't make it official to their 85 because mentally they die here. And physically they die, right? They physically die because they don't care about their health anymore. They don't care about their wealth anymore. They don't love themselves. And they're not happy. So mentally, people die. Emotionally, people die at 45, 25. And they don't make it official until 75, 80. So a lot of people are the walking dead, unfortunately. A lot of people are the walking dead. So make sure every year you're not saying, singing the same old song. I'm broke, struggling. 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 I'm going backwards. Now, of course, we all have setbacks. That's one thing. But every year you got a setback. Every time you turn around, you got a setback. No. Right? There's setbacks. Yeah, you may get a divorce and you might have to downsize. You know, your job may let you go and you may have to, you know, pivot. But every year, year on year, you broke every year. Year on year, you're struggling. Year on year, you're fucking gaining weight. Year on year, you're feeling, you know, unhappy. Year on year, you're in bad relationship. Year on year, you're feeling like shit. Year on year, you know, you're dealing with heartache and headache. It's like... When do you let yourself be free? When do you start to get around people that want to see better for you? When do you start to want better for yourself? When do you start to have better for yourself? When do you start to have some money? When do you start to make some investments? When do you start reading a book? When do you start going to some events? When do you start attending, you know, some seminars? So you're never too old to learn and you're never too young to teach. But if every year on year you're struggling, every year on year you're broke, every year on year you can't try to figure out a ways to make money outside of your job, then you are already dead. I don't give a fuck if you're 18, 28, 38, 58. If you're not leveling up and finding new ways, you guys, if you've been following me <clears throat> for how many years, me doing videos in my car, I used to drive a 1989 Toyota Corolla. 
then I went to uh 2000 and, and, and what was it 2008 um Toyota Camry then I went to a Hyundai then I went to a a Nissan uh, a Nissan um what was it Nissan Ultima the Rogue right and then I was saying I was tired of those mediocre cars I said, I really want my dream car. So I had to start working towards getting my dream car. And guess what? My dream car was a Benz E-Class. I put it on my vision board and I got it. I got rid of E-Class. Now I got the GLA 250 2020. Once this lease is up, I'll get another Benz. I didn't want to stay in the basement of my aunt's house. Right? I got two kids and a husband. I didn't want to stay there. So I had to level up. I had to buy me a house. I didn't want to get an apartment to be paying somebody else rent, helping somebody else gain equity in their house, helping somebody else get rich. No, that's what you do at your job. You're helping the person get rich. You're renting. You're helping that person get rich. You're helping that person send their kids to college. You're helping your boss. So, so like, damn, you struggling just to make everybody else rich. Meanwhile, you ain't got a pot or a window to throw the motherfucker out. So at some point, we got to wake up. At some point, we got to say, you know, I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of heartaches. I'm tired of headaches. I heard a 21-year-old girl had a fucking stroke. Fuck you, 21, having a stroke. Stress, depression, anxiety. Your health ain't right. You worry too much. Right? It's crazy because I was listening to an audio, Millionaire Mind, by my uh, Robert, not Robert, um, Bob Proctor. And what he said was, it's crazy that back in the day, you know, there were more people doing better than people are now. And he said, the crazy thing is, is that we have more tools and more information now than we did back in the day. And you have way more people struggling now. That shit don't add up. That shit don't make no sense. So you mean to tell me you got YouTube, you got Facebook, you got Instagram, you got all these free webinars, you got all these free ebooks to read, and you still broke. <clears throat> you got access to millionaires through your phone, and you still broke? Then you deserve to be broke. You deserve the headache. You deserve the heartache. You deserve the struggle. Right? So all of these tools that people have at their fingertips. We have a cell phone with millions and trillions of dollars worth of knowledge and you still choose to struggle and that's your fault. Your kids gonna struggle, your grandkids, your great grandkids. At some point, you gotta say enough is enough and I gotta get my shit together. So if you haven't downloaded my free ebook, go to workwithtanisha.com, download my free ebook. I'm helping people start drop shipping businesses I'm helping people to um, fix their credit, rebuild their credit, restore their credit. I'm helping people access money, funding, so they can get money, so they can have money, leverage your personal uh, credit to get some money. Then I'm helping them get business funding. Also too, business credit cards, American Express, right? So they can go live their life and do what you wanna do, build your business and be free. Freedom, financial freedom, guys, is the fucking goal self-love is the flex and if you love yourself you will want to be financially free and if you don't love yourself you're going to stay in financial bondage and that's the real truth so happy friday i'll see you guys in class